If you've ever wondered why corporate America, Hollywood, Madison Avenue, and the media all seem to be obsessed with the youth culture, the answer is simple. The largest generation of young people since the 1960s is beginning to come of age. They're called echo boomers because they're the genetic offspring and the demographic echo of their parents, the baby boomers. Born between the early 1980s and the early 1990s, there are nearly 80 million of them. They're already having a huge impact on entire segments of the economy. And as the population ages, they'll become the next dominant generation of Americans. Who are they? What do they want? You'll be surprised. The oldest are barely out of college, the youngest still in grade school. And whether you call them echo boomers, Generation Y, or millennials, they already make up nearly a third of the U.S. population and spend $170 billion a year of theirs and their parents' money. Almost none of it on boring things like mortgages and medication. Have a good evening, you guys. And the world is falling all over itself trying to sell them things. Thank you. What brands do you guys love? Sony, dude. Patagonia. Gap. Gillette. <laughs> Aveda. I feel like I... Only a small percentage are eligible to vote, yet they're already one of the most studied generations in history by sociologists, demographers, and by marketing consultants like Jane Buckingham of the Intelligence Group, who uses focus groups like this one to gather information for clients like NBC, Chanel, Nike, and Levi Strauss. How much time would you guys say you spend on the internet a day? A couple hours a day. A couple of hours. Who would say more than TV? Oh, yeah. What do you like better? Internet. 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 They're a reflection of the sweeping changes in American life over the past 20 years. The first to grow up with computers at home in a 500 channel TV universe. Multitaskers. Hello. With cell phones, music downloads, and instant messaging on the internet. Totally plugged in citizens of a worldwide community. Are you connected from the moment you get up? Pretty much. Oh, yeah. Do you have iPods? Yes. Of course. They're required by law now in the subways. <laughs> They're giving them away at Duke. 